Excellency President Ramkalawan, ministers, ambassadors, principal secretaries, friends and colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the International Board of the Fisheries Transparency Initiative, I would like to extend my sincere congratulations to the Republic of Seychelles for the successful completion of its first ever FITI report. Today's event marks a monumental step not only for Seychelles, a large ocean state, but for the global movement of increasing transparency for marine fisheries. And once again, Seychelles is demonstrating its global leadership in ensuring the sustainability of marine fisheries. We all should feel tremendously proud of this. Although the socioeconomic impact of the COVID-19 pandemic has been felt across the globe, tourism dependent nations such as Seychelles have undoubtedly been amongst the worst hit. Because of the restrictions imposed by the pandemic, among them national lockdowns and international travel bans, countries have been forced to ensure that all economic sectors contribute to income, foreign exchange, employment, food security, and overall to social stability. Countries must also ensure that short-term financial gains do not jeopardize the long-term sustainability of the different economic sectors. It goes without saying that in Seychelles, the marine fisheries sector must continue to play a crucial role. It's appropriate to ask, why is this event of today so important to achieve that goal? And why, to quote Ambassador Thompson, is this event wealth worth of global attention? In other words, why are the two core principles of the FITI, transparency and multi-stakeholder participation, so crucial for the future of fisheries? Well, we know that our oceans are under threat from climate change, pollution, and overfishing. If there is a lesson to be learned is that collaboration and transparency are crucial practices for addressing these challenges collectively. We can no longer sit back and wait for our political leaders to come up with a solution or hope that private sector triggered innovations will save the day. We need a collective effort by all concerned stakeholders to ensure the sustainability of global fisheries. These collective efforts, however, need two core ingredients to be successful. First, they need political leadership and a willingness for, from decision makers to listen to the ideas and concerns of the stakeholders on how marine fisheries should be managed. Past and current governments of Seychelles have been demonstrating this, for example, by engaging the country in a number of crucial initiatives, such as the Open Government Partnership or the FITI. But second, we need to ensure that these discussions are based on the best available information, not on rumors or factoids. All concerned stakeholders from government, small-scale fishers, industrial fishing companies, investors, civil society, media and academia need to engage in informed public debates, in essence, reading from the same source. This is where the FITI supports countries around the world the most. Today's launch of Seychelles first FITI report will most certainly help in achieving this level playing field and by laying the foundations for a more transparent management of the marine fisheries sector will ensure its long-term contribution to the national economy. The report will further contribute to a wider public appreciation of the important role marine fisheries has played and will increasingly continue to play in sustaining Seychelles economy in the years ahead. Excellency President Ramkalawan, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the FIT International Board, I once again congratulate you on the completion of Seychelles' first FIT report. And thank you for the important role you're all playing in supporting sustainable fisheries. We're also extremely thankful to the Seychelles for being such a wonderful host to the international headquarters of the FITI Secretariat. I'm confident that other countries from around the Indian Ocean region, the African continent and beyond, will take note of the stellar strides Seychelles is taking towards greater transparency in its marine fisheries and will follow its exemplary lead. Let us celebrate this achievement today 
but then go back to work and make the best use of this report. I'm counting in particular on the local civil society organizations and media institutions to ensure that everyone understands that the oceans belong to all of us, that it should not be taken for granted, and that everyone has a role to play, starting with something as simple as asking questions. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of the event.